chances are, if you've noticed a growth on the surface of your eye, specifically the cornea, the front clear portion of your eye, it could be a pterygium or surfer's eye. We're gonna talk about what it is, why you have it, and what you can do about it. Let's focus in. Howdy everybody, I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, with the show that helps keep your eyes healthy and your vision clear. And I do a lot of educational videos like this one, as well as product reviews and how-to videos. So make sure you subscribe if that's something you're interested in, so you don't miss any of my future videos. Otherwise, let's talk about that surfer's eye. If you have noticed this growth that has come from the white part of the eye, stretching over to the clear part or the cornea, I just want you to know that this is benign or non-cancerous if it is a pterygium. Now a pterygium is a growth, a conjunctival growth. The conjunctiva is actually a clear surface layer that covers the white part of the eye. This surface layer kind of acts like a skin or a barrier to the eye and sometimes it can be inflamed and become a conjunctivitis or a pink eye, but it can also grow in places that it doesn't need to. Sometimes it can become elevated and also grow or stretch and reach over to the cornea or the clear surface of the eye. The cornea is that clear window that covers the eye that allows light to pass through so you can see and it's right over the color part or the iris of the eye. Now one thing you don't want to confuse this with something called a pinguecula, also a conjunctival growth that just stays on the white part of the eye can be elevated, sometimes can be yellow. I actually made a video about that and you can check that right here. I'll put the link up there if that's more what you're looking into. This pterygium is actually specifically the growth that goes onto the cornea. Now the exact cause or the reason for this pterygium is unknown, but it is linked to a few things. Number one, definitely linked to more UV light or UV exposure. That's why it kind of has the nickname surfer's eye. People that tend to be more outdoors, aren't wearing sunglasses, maybe live close to the equator, they get more sunlight, more UV light tend to have a pterygium more than others. Now the area that I live, I live up in Idaho, we commonly see a pterygium in farmer's eyes. They tend to be outdoors in a dusty, windy environment, not wearing sunglasses so they get that UV light, and so they are more prone to get a pterygium. Another link is dryness. Typically if your eyes are more dry or you're exposed to dry climates, then you are more prone to get this pterygium as well. It kind of causes this growth to grow further. The dry eye can be aggravated from blinks in your eyelid rubbing on the tissue, and that aggravation can cause the conjunctiva to become inflamed and also may cause this growth of pterygium. The analogy that I gave in the pinguecula video is similar to a pterygium, whereas it's kind of an analogy to where you can get a callus on the palm of your hands if you're working a lot. It's kind of like that, it's the eyes version of a callus. Now the downside though, is usually once the growth is there, it doesn't go away. So usually people are stuck with this thing and they're just trying to manage it and keep it from growing bigger. Usually a pterygium is on the nasal side or the part of the eye that's towards the nose and you'll actually see it almost be in a triangular pattern. It usually kind of stretches out to a point. Now you can get it in one eye, you can get it in both eyes, you can get it on both sides of the eyes if you're unlucky. A pterygium can also become pretty inflamed and red and irritating. Again, likely from these dry eyes or dry climates. And it's just from that friction and irritation from the eyelid rubbing over the dry surface. It can cause it to be red and pretty, sometimes painful to the patient. Now what can you do about it? Like I said, they won't go away the game becomes managing it, trying to keep it from getting bigger. Now, first things first is you wanna be wearing sunglasses to protect your eyes from that UV light, just to try and keep that pterygium from growing faster or bigger. Next thing is you wanna try and keep your eyes from getting dry. You wanna try and keep them lubricated as much as possible. That's usually best from using artificial tears or treating your dry eye condition if you have a dry eye disease. But usually if you have a pterygium or the other one, the pinguecula, you wanna develop a habit or a routine of using artificial tears. It's kinda of like putting lotion on your hands. You wanna keep your eyes from getting to that dry state that may aggravate and may make that pterygium grow bigger. Now, if the pterygium 
gets big enough to where it actually crosses over and enters the center of your vision or covers the pupil, it may actually affect your vision. At that point, usually the recommended treatment is surgery, is just to peel that pterygium off of there to get it out of the way. Also, if a pterygium is really elevated red, it's causing constant irritation, it's making your eye red, just looks unpleasant, that also may be grounds for surgical removal just to get that pterygium out of there so you can get rid of the irritation, hopefully make your eyes look and feel better. Now just be sure if you happen to see or notice a growth on your eye, whether it's on the sclera, the white part of the eye, the conjunctiva, on the cornea like we've talked about, make sure that you go in and see your eye doctor just so you can get an official diagnosis to know exactly what it is because you wanna make sure that you know what a growth on your eye is because it could be something else and it could be bad. Also, usually if you have a pinguecula or a pterygium, you may have underlying conditions like a dry eye condition or a dry eye disease. And so your doctor may be able to help you with certain treatments that may treat your dry eyes, also at the same time treating or helping control that pterygium. So just to review a pterygium, it's a growth from the conjunctiva that may stretch over the cornea or the clear part of your eye. And a pterygium is benign, non-cancerous. How do you get it? Usually caused from UV exposure, a lot of exposure to sunlight, dry, dusty, windy climates, and may have a genetic predisposition to it. What do you do about it? Unfortunately, that pterygium is there to stay, so now it becomes a management game. So you wanna be using sunglasses to protect your eyes from UV exposure. You wanna be using artificial tears to keep your eyes from getting dry. And if it is to the point where it's so elevated, it's causing your eyes to be miserable and irritated, or it's crossed over to the center of your vision or affecting your vision, then the treatment is surgery. Hope you liked the video. Make sure that you remember to subscribe and also share this video for anybody that may be interested. I'm Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy, focusing on you and your eyes. Stay focused and I'll see you in the next video.